Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mistra and in this video we will learn how to set up logging in Selenium with Python to capture and store logs for better test management. Well, a logging is nothing but a means of tracking events that happen when some software or code runs. For example, this is my test script. Okay. And there are a number of you know tests written in this and I'm executing this particular you know login underscore test file. Okay. So out of n there are certain tests which are failing consistently okay and as a developer of this particular you know script or if i have to you know i may have to you know take a look at this script i would want some kind of you know information right particularly like the flow and the logs right where exactly and in at which step those particular you know tests are failing tests are failing okay so how would i implement that logging which might be required for debugging this particular you know test failure okay so that can be implemented with the help of logging feature of selenium python right so how would you know how can we implement that so let us create one python file and just name it anything i will name it python logging and then python underscore logging dot py has been created here in your project and first thing which i would do is i would import logging library okay and the after this we can probably import all these you know we can use all these imports from the previous test okay you can refer my previous video in my uh, you know selenium uh, python playlist okay so for now uh, we are good we have done all the imports and now what we can do so we can use logging dot basic config and you can see this provides file name file mode format all these things are there right which you can pass so let me show you what is available inside this basic config logging okay so you can see here in the official document so there is a logging available so this is how you can use file name okay so let us use this and there are label also available okay so inside this i can give it something like selenium test selenium test dot log so this will be created inside this project okay until we specify the path and the logging level is info there are five levels available with the selenium python so info warning critical uh, error okay and the debug so these are available uh, uh, inside the selenium python and you can also pass format okay so format equal to and then we can also see the format right let us see that format what all attributes are available for and for inside the format so there is a table given over here okay so this talks about the label okay which we have just mentioned not set debugged info so these are the logging level and we can go ahead and see the format so there will there will be on table available with all those you know formats see here see okay so we are going to use certain attributes which might be you know uh, required for my test script okay in the format section so how i would do i will just give single quote and closing single quote okay and i will mention all these format okay F with i mean these are the attribute name so asc time okay the time in the extending order okay human readable time and there is a s given over here it means that it will convert the time into the string and the next we can choose probably the logger label label name so this entry will get recorded into my log file which log file selenium underscore test dot log okay and the we can choose the message also okay what message exactly we want to see okay all right so this particular you know logging is done and now what you can do 
नेक्स्ट इज जस्ट स्टार्ट यू नो लॉगिंग द मैसेजेस लॉगिंग आई विल जस्ट कॉपी पेस समथिंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट वी डू इज लाइक वी आर स्टार्टिंग द यू नो वेब ड्राइवर सो वी विल मैंशन स्टार्टिंग वेब ड्राइवर ओके लेटस लॉग इट सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विल गेट रिकॉर्डेड इन टू द टेक्स फाइल ओके एंड देन वी विल एक्चुअली इंस्टेंसिएट दैट वेब ड्राइवर डॉट क्रोम सो इट विल इन वी हैव क्रिएटेड द ड्राइवर ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर द क्रोम ब्राउजर ओके यूजिंग विच आई कैन जस्ट इन वोक माई यू आर एल सो लेटस यूज वन ऑफ द साइट गिवन ओवर हियर सो मे बी वी कैन चूज फ्लिपकार्ट एंड देन आई कैन गिव द यू आर एल एंड वट यू कैन डू नाउ यू कैन जस्ट राइट फ्यू स्टेटमेंट इन द ट्राई सो दैट वी कैन कवर दट एरर सेक्शन एरर लेवल ऑल्सो राइट इन साइड द एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक सो हियर यू कैन ऑल्सो यू नो अंडरस्टैंड और यू कैन सी हाउ द ट्राई एंड एक्सेप्ट वर्कस राइट सो हियर वी विल बी गिविंग और लेट मी जस्ट कंप्लीट वन फ्लो एंड देन वी आर गुड सो लेट लेट मी राइट दिस पर्टिकुलर यू नो स्टेटमेंट इन साइड द ट्राई ओके फॉर बेटर यू नो रेडिबिलिटी एंड द यूजिबिलिटी बेसिकली सो वी आर कॉलिंग दिस यू आर एल एंड वी आर देन वी कैन मैक्सीमाइज दिस एंड वी कैन जस्ट राइट मैक्सीम और वी कैन जस्ट पुट वन लॉगिंग सो वाट we can do we just write we have navigated to flipkart okay navigated to flipkart so we are going to you know navigate to flipkart now flipkart okay this is done and then we can probably just wait for some element here after you know access this site probably you can get the x path of this using selector hub or you can use the dev console to find the x path of this so let me copy the relative x path of this and that i will store for now let me just put it like this uh, later i can use this x path okay so i'm uh, just calling web driver wait and then i will be waiting for 10 second until it satisfied some condition and what is that condition that condition might be my expected condition could be presence of that element located okay and what is that uh, element that element is nothing but the flipkart image okay which for which we have identified the x path okay so now i can give or provide that x path here okay fine right and now i can give something like this web driver wait and okay now i can give logging and i can uh, provide info something like element found okay after this element is found i can mention element found well element is found now what so if element is found we can probably click on that element isn't it okay so or if it is found or then we can click on this let's see we 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 are least bother about you know uh, uh, what is going to happen next because we are going to automate till here okay we can we have just clicked on this and uh, we will just record that a uh, thing also inside the text file okay through this logging statement so that logging will be element found and element clicked just in case if there is any failure so i can get to know by looking at that file okay which is selenium underscore test dot log all right till here everything is fine now what we are going to do is we are going to write accept statement and we will be calling exception as e and then uh, you can just give logging and error logger okay and what you can uh, use you can just means a nav string and so that you can pass some expression also inside this and you have to use curly braces to you know print the exception okay 
and then you have to use the finally block okay inside which you can you know quit the driver or whatever you want to do so let me quit the driver and let me log that also browser close i can say okay when i'm quitting it is nothing but the browser closing i'm cl closing the browser or i can say browser closed right so all good everything seems to be you know uh, error free okay so this is how you have to you know configure the logger and you have to pass file name label and format accordingly so these are the attribute and the format okay so this is the format and this is the label and this is the file name and after that you are recording each and every you know action of the web driver okay inside your test so what we have done we are just opening this and we are clicking on this and we are recording and we have used the try and accept block and along with the finally okay so let us run and see if it is generating that uh, selenium underscore test dot log and it is actually a printing i mean redirecting all these messages into the this log file or not let us run and see it is going to the flip cart and it is clicked and if it returns zero then it is exit code is zero then your execution is successful and see the file has also been created okay and this is printing the error message as well okay inside the except block presence of element located takes one positional argument but two were given all right so based on that you can probably identify your error and fix it and see all those actions has been recorded okay with the info and with the error in info browser close starting web driver navigator flip cart and along with the time also right it's a 10 46 and this test case was executed at 10 45 so all right so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in the next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching